Hey guys, the hair's gone again. I want to show you some of the progress I've been making on the project. In particular, this room over here. So you're probably thinking, what the hell, this is just one room. But to your viewer, you couldn't be more wrong. This is, this is a huge room. And that's because it introduces a lot of new assets and mechanics that get reused throughout the rest of the level. So if I get this room, then the rest is going to go much faster. That and also I have more that i just not ready to show yet. So, Okay, so let me run around the room and prove to you why it is in fact a huge room. So for one, we have these screw platforms over here that don't do anything when I hit them right now. So this is the first thing that I had, had to add, the Rayman damage types kind of that come from the uh, power-ups. I also have a new plant that kind of moves and pushes out air. Oh, gotta watch out. <laughs> Hoodlum's shooting at me. So I give the flower even this little smoke coming out of it. All right, let's r run along. We have this Hoodlum shooting at me. And this also involved me making the Hoodlum bullet. So this is also going to be reused a lot later on. Okay, let's let's kill him. One and two. And here I have the power-up can that you might have seen me sculpt before. I gave it this kind of animation of just like spinning slowly and once in a while it kind of spins faster. Once I enter it, does this kind of thing. I didn't have a chance to make Rayman's model yet for when he's upgraded, but as you can see on the left side of the screen, I have the timer printed out. Yeah, because I didn't make the UI also, but when that timer runs out, my power-up ends. Uh, I can shoot the fist, so I have this kind of vortex particle system that I also made. That's going to get reused later. If I charge it, kind of make it just brighter. Also, having a power-up gives me double points. So that's another, th another thing that got handled. Aside from the power-up system, the point system is ready for everything now. Oh, my power-up ended. <laughs> All right, so now if I shoot it, it actually, you know, does that thing, <laughs> whatever that's called. Yeah, and now I have this jumping platform that also is reused a lot in the later parts of the levels. And climbing the vines is added. I kind of made it how it was in the original where Rayman first kind of winds up before he starts actually climbing. I made a vine shader to kind of respond to Rayman's movement. And then I have the climbing walls, another system introduced that's going to be reused in the later in the level a lot. And then in the next room, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to spoil all the fun just yet. Oh yeah, notice the flying fairies. They're also prominent in every next room. Okay, I would like to also kind of show the jumping shroom or jellyfish, whatever you call it, closer. Because I think it came out pretty cool. I made a shader animation where it kind of pulsates nicely like this. And I also want to show you what it looks like when I actually jump on it. Yeah, I think it's a pretty nice effect. Now I would like to show the power-up cans a little closer. So I made it where it's very easy for me to change them. If I copy this and I just change it to red. Now it's a red power-up, except it doesn't do anything yet. I just have the green power-up, have the logic, but... 
I basically added all the colors already anyway, just for later. I made them kind of glow because with this, you know, Unreal Engine lighting, otherwise in shadows they kind of could get easily lost. So I just felt making them stand out more would make them better gameplay wise. And now if I can just run through all of them. Yeah. I'll also zoom in a little bit on the Hoodlum bullet cannonball projectile since in gameplay it's a little too fast and too small to exactly see. For this I drew a lot of inspiration from the Rayman 3 opening cutscene. So I think that's pretty much it for the new assets and logic that I've introduced when making this room. So why don't I just kind of top this video off by doing a little flybys here and there. Maybe showing off some before and afters. I also have been working on making the camera system better. And I've been getting good progress, I think. It's not there yet, but it's heading in the right direction, I would say. Though for now, I guess you'll just have to take my word for it because it's kind of hard to demonstrate the camera upgrades, I guess. I think overall, the biggest creative difference I've made for this room was introducing the stalactites. Just that kind of lonely dildo hanging from the ceiling in the original it was really strange in my opinion. I, I, I kind of couldn't stand it. I needed to do something else. By the way, I think it's really cool how these fairies just throw around all this dy dynamic lighting around. Lumen is pretty cool. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you. The comments, the support, all the positivity. It really brings a tear to my eye. Thank you so much. It's, it's all absolutely amazing. You make making this whole thing even more fun than it is already. You guys are absolutely the best. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like where this is going and I'll see you in the next devlog video. Oh yeah, and remember, everything is work in progress, nothing is final. I like to kind of hide behind those words in case something doesn't look too good. All right, bye-bye.